What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Taking a Risk with George George. I snuck into that back area again. You know I have to. I gotta show you guys what's back here, so stay tuned. This is my favorite area because this is like the secret stuff. So let's take a look. Look at that. We got unicycles. That's pretty nice. I like that. Got clown bikes. All kinds of good stuff. Some grills hiding back there. A shovel. That's going to come in handy real soon. I know it's Christmas in July right now, but there's no snow, thank goodness. Got some Hamilton Beach right there. The microwaves. Let's see what else we can find. Nice pallet with a bunch of grills on it. Looks like there's two or three. Some other good stuff. A wooden porch rocker. Ooh, that's nice. I like that a lot. We've got a put it together yourself dolly over here or a wheelbarrow, if you will, if you like to pronounce things correctly. For me, it's either or. What is this? Nice looking little, like a mesh water bag. Bed frame. Ooh, we got some car chairs. That's always nice. Ooh, that is really nice. Utility cart. That's really nice. The big Better Homes fan next to it. What else do we got on this car? Pallet here. Got some light fixtures. It's always good. I'm actually super interested in this one. You got some microfiber towels right there. Ooh, and some little electronics. You know, I gotta pull out the little electronics. Ooh, some headphones. With charging case? Oh man, I might have to ask Tony how much this one's going for. What else is in here? What is this? Oh, for a hose, okay. End of a hose, that's nice. That's like the, um, yeah, look at that. It's got the multi-heads. Change it out. Expert. Definitely not for me. Ribbon in there. Good stuff. This is a nice one. This is really nice. I like that a lot. Oh, we got a bunch of the Better Home fans on there. Shaft trimmer. That's... Gotta be careful with that, for sure. Spill magic. What is this? Hmm. 99 use supply. Ah, it's a mop bucket. Very cool. So much awesome good stuff back here. And you really gotta be here to take advantage of everything that he has. Now this stuff does go up for auction like I mentioned earlier, but honestly, if you're here in person, you get first dibs. And this is good stuff. Nice mid back office chair. Ooh. Oh wow, that's nice trimmer. I definitely have not used one of those in quite a while and I don't plan on it. Got chair. Toilet. Gotta have your toilets. Ooh, some nice little surge protectors. Very nice. A two headlamp. Very neat. Ooh, this is the pallet that I honestly would be the most interested in because of the Hamilton Beach and the instant stuff. Frigidaire, you got your fans. This is a Kohl's, I believe. Kohl's is gold. Oh, look at that one. That is a massive pallet. And right on top you got your little tent, your wicker chair. There's the rest of it, in case you need a better look. Nicey nice. Whew, that is one heck of a fan right there. Oh, look at that, Fun Pops. That's a whole pallet of Fun Pops. And now we know what those ice cream things or icicle things are actually called. They're called Fun Pops, who would have known? You could get a, an umbrella with it. Another DIY wheelbarrow right here. That's a nice heavy duty one. Up a nice grill. What are those? 
Oh wow, those are surfboards. Inflatable stand-up paddle boards. Oh wow, I know the Hudson's actually bought one of those not too long ago. And uh, they liked it very much until it sold. Jim was out there playing with it for quite a while. Oh, here's another, another fun pop. I like that a lot. Lots of outdoor stuff. I gotta manhandle it. What are we looking at here? Oh, it's like a hammock. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It's a hammock. Very nice. What are these three? I'm guessing canopies. Canopies. Alright, got one of them out, and yes, it is a canopy. Nice canopy. You got your table. This little fold out table. Nice little umbrella chair. That's nice. Just a chair and an umbrella. Very cool. I've never seen one of those. This is probably another canopy. Some fold out chairs. Some good stuff. Oh, look at that little trampoline for the kiddos or for the more adventurous grown ups that don't mind breaking stuff. Like myself. And look at that, we've got more. The shack. I feel like this is from Sam's Club. The Ninja Foodie. Oh, I thought that said Xbox for a second. It says X Boom. Oh wow, got a lot of tools, trimmers and stuff, some art stuff. Which we know that's from Walmart. So this is probably a Walmart slash Sam's Club palette. Right behind it, we've got a nice table. Has been opened, but that's okay. Bed frame. Two more grills. Something hiding in the back. Looks like a futon, based on that picture. Oh man, I love these little goodie boxes that just have tons of little stuff in them. Dang, you got your Power XL Fry Steamer. Ooh, that looks nice, this Pit Boss. This thing is humongous. Hamilton Beach stuff. Coffee maker. A Ninja food processor. Bunch of microwaves. Good stuff, good, good stuff. All right, how did I almost miss this? Good thing I turned around and almost tripped and fell on it, but yeah, that's something my kids would love, adults would love. Look at that, what a mini bite. Look at this bad boy, that is nice. Let's see if we can figure out what was wrong with it. Battery operated ride ons. That's not what's wrong with it, that's just what that says. Real treat, real nice. Battery Rhino, that's what it says, that's what it says. All right, and we're finding them again. We've got these uh, non-deliverable pallets here with tons of mystery boxes that are so appealing. You never know what you're gonna get. I've heard you can get um, like mattress stuff, bed frames, you can get iPads, and you can even find unicorn horns. You know what I mean. I've got another one right next to it. These are so appealing. And honestly, this is another opportunity for a uh, restored love because a lot of these still have the original person they were supposed to go to on. It still has their tag on there. So you could easily figure out a way to contact those people and ask them why it wasn't delivered, if they'd like their stuff back. And there you go, restored love. Look at that. We've got a whole other one right here. Tons of good stuff. I don't know if I'll be able to fit back there. But I'd love to take a look at it. Oh, look at that. That's what I love to see right there, Sam's Club. And these boxes, oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. What is in the Sam's Club box? What do we got? Envelopes, who doesn't need envelopes? Resellers need envelopes. Very nice. Yeah, you got case after case after case. A bunch of them. Some laminate flooring, that's nice. A deck box, very useful. 230 gallon deck box. Ooh, and the good stuff's hidden on the back, I think. Oh yeah, look at that, a nice little bench. And right next to it, we got a 
Spa Sensations platform bed frame. Very nice. You know, spas made bed frames. Personal safe. A little rocking chair. A little, little rocking chair. A Vacomaster, whatever that is. A Vacmaster. Hmm. Got one of those. Slipping Fun Kitchen. Oh, that would actually go with the little table set that I bought from here not too long ago. That the Cha Cha loves. Mystery boxes. I don't see any indication as to what it actually is. More mystery boxes. Super curious as to what's in these. And I just want to get it all and unwrap it for you guys. Oh look, I see a little couch right there. Whatever that is. Walmart number 16 return or for reuse. Each box costs the company an average of one dollar. Now we know. Tons of stuff in there. Oh man, on my way out I ran into this giant smoker. Look at this bad boy. That is beautiful. Laredo 1000. What else you got on this pallet? This might be a good one to go. Keep the kids locked up while you griddle some stuff and smoke some other stuff. Make sure you put a fan on them so they don't over overheat. Very, very nice. Oh man, these ones, these ones get me because as you heard me talk about in another video, you know, you could have a hundred items right here for $200. That's $2 a piece just to make your money back. And you know these things are gonna sell for more than $2 a piece. At least most of them. So this is a good gamble in my opinion. I wanna know what's in the Better Homes box. I know you guys do too. But we will probably never find out. Let me see, I see a better angle. Let me get over there. But while we're on our way, let's take a look at everything else so we don't pass anything up. Look at this, mystery boxes, mystery boxes. I see the, it's got electronics. That's always nice, always nice. And right underneath, we got Bumblebee from Transformers. And another little uh, RC car. We got Little Debbie. It's a whole box of ding-dongs right there. That's nice. Battery operated bubble scooter. That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen and the kids would love that for sure. What do we got here? And an organizer, a seven foot My First Trampoline, that's nice, it's a nice little kid trampoline, and you get them a basketball hoop on top of that. You get a chair so you can watch them, and a table so you can hold your drinks. Oh wow, look at all them fans, that is a lot of Honeywell Quiet 5 fans. And right next to it is the Turbo Force Power Fans. That's a really good palette, a lot of fans. I'm a big fan of that palette. All right, what are we looking at here? Mystery boxes. You know, I love mystery boxes. I see an Anirondack chair and a nice looking umbrella looking thing. All right, all right. Melons. These ones I want to buy so bad. I'd love to have one of these can of peas. 10 by 10 instant canopy. So nice. How big is this one? It's also a 10 by 10, but I just believe it's blue. Coolers. Deep seating replacement cushions. That's nice for your chairs. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's what's up right there. Paper towels for days. This is definitely a Sam's Club palette. And look, you even get the roll of plastic with it. All right, take a look at what's behind me. This is a nice, it's lighter than it looks. I think it's a vase or vase, one of those decorative, yeah. Put a tree in there, put your little brother in there. Oh, here we go, Uncle Tony, where are you at? Tony loves his plates, he loves his plastics. Loves, loves, loves it. Ooh, that's nice, a nice spray mop. This might be a Target palette. It smells like Target, honestly. I see the Great Value. I'm pretty sure Great Value is actually Walmart. Still a good smelling palette. There's something in there that smells really good. Cleaning supplies of some sort. Lord knows I could use it. Got a mop, some mop buckets. Very nice pallets. Oh look, we get another one. Now you got one for your little sister too. And a bunch of bikes that you can ride away on. Something, and a vacuum, this is a nice pallet. Holy moly, look at that, you get some, some stuff to sleep on. 
It looks like a little tent or something right here. Something. Yeah, sure, it's a tent if I say it is. A pallet that I can't see into. Oh, I think they're coming. I had to hide. Thought somebody was coming. No, I don't think so. Right, let's go back to looking and snooping around a little bit. Let's see what's in this pallet. Ooh, a nice, another little uh, ninja food processor there. No, that's a Hamilton Beach. We got a tumblebee. Tumblebee. New and bright, 360 spin. Looks like a drone almost, but I don't think that's what that is. Oh, it's sealed up. Bic. We all know Bic sells some of the best reusable razors. Or actually, they say disposable, but you can honestly reuse them probably like 15, 20 times. Is that an icebox? Ooh, serve your uh, turkey in there. Microwave your turkey up and then put it in there to serve it. Very nice. All right, and then this wonderful area that I just can't get to, but we're gonna use this nifty zoom feature to see what we got there. Oh, look at that, that's really nice. That's a big eight inch, looks like a, uh, Memory foam topper. A wheelbarrow back there. High sense. Oh, a little refrigerator. Very nice. Oh, another one right next to it. Chest freezer. That's honestly what I need. Oh, look at that. That's what I want right there. Camouflage weaponry. Very nice. And on top of it is some tools to dispose of. Very, very nice. What else do we got in here? Looks like more outdoor furniture. I want to know what's in that big box. Look at that. Box is huge. You got things sticking out of it left and right. My eyesight's not as good as it used to be, even though I just got LASIK surgery. I'd love to find out. I see something back there. Right there. Looks like an automobile. Curious. Very curious. Oh, there's some more outdoor furniture right there. I'm like a kid in a candy store, people. I just can't, just can't help myself. I gotta look. Oh, there's definitely something hiding right there, too. Love to know what that is. All right, I'll quickly show you these last few pallets before I sneak back out of here, hopefully undetected. This is a nice jacked up pallet. Tons of jacks on it. Automotive dream pallet right there. And then right next to it, you got your comfortable pallet. A chair, chair, a nice, oh, that's nice right there. A five in one tent, something, five in one cooling tent or something. Chainsaw right there for your camping needs. Oh, this is a nice pallet. This is a very nice pallet. A 12-person camping tent, cabin tent, holy moly. That thing is awesome. Gotta be very quiet. They're looking for me. Those are the sounds of their drones and stuff. They found me. I've been discovered. And a quick look at the stuff that I can't reach. There's a lot of good stuff in here. This auction's about to start, so I don't want to hold them up. Definitely check it out, guys. Check out their Facebook. I'll put the link down below. They have an auction. I believe it's every Saturday. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself later. But definitely check it out.